it seems that nine times out of ten, the good things that I do are not portrayed, or I'm still criticised heavily for them. You um, you've said that you, you're just doing this to to provide for your children. Um, that uh, that you, you you sell the stories, you sell your life, sell your sell you know every aspect of of apparently yourself uh, uh, to um, to fund you know the the, the life of your children bringing up, uh, and and that's you know that's that's a, probably in in your head a lovely thing to do you know you're providing yeah. for your children but the trouble is what I worry about is that is the stick that your children are going to get because of the career that you have chosen. Well, I'd just like to say that children can get stick for for a lot of things. It is very upsetting to think that they may get stick because of who I am. But, you know, children get stick for maybe being overweight or being ginger or not having the right shoes. I can certainly say my children won't be picked on for, for poor shoes and clothes. <laughs> but they'll just be picked on for something else, perhaps. Well, I'd just say to that, you know, if if other people's children are going to pick on my children because I'm their parent, I just say to their parents that they should do the job and, you know, not raise a bully. I can't control other people's actions, but it is upsetting, Philip. And uh, and uh, what what's the next plan? What are you going to sell next? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few things in the pipeline, like you say, my nose and a few other tweaks I'd like to make, so... How do you think this will help change public opinion of you? It may not, you never know. But do you want to? Do you, how do you want to be viewed? I'm just hoping that people will see me. I'm not expecting a pat on the back or, you know, a blue Peter badge. I just want people to see that the contrast in my lifestyle, which is a very hard-working, lone parent up until recently. Um, you know, I'm just trying to make ends meet. It is, it's a tough, tough old world out there, especially when you've got three small children that depend on you for absolutely everything. And I just want people to see me for who I am, really. I'm a very caring person, very hard-working, very loyal, and I'm just trying to be a good mum. Um, uh, Jessica says, I'm a single mum trying to provide, but you don't see me selling tickets to the birth of my kids. Rebecca says, maybe Josie is trying to provide for her children, but it's, uh, this is the wrong way to go about it. Lisa says, Josie needs to rethink her approach to life. Elle says, go out, get a job and provide for your kids instead of being in the press for all the wrong reasons. Um, but you say, you don't care what anyone thinks, and this is the way you're going to go. I understand where people are coming from, but I'd just like to add to that last comment that I have worked from a very young age. Um, when I became, first became a lone parent, mm. I soon realised that it's very, very difficult. It, it feels like it's never been away, oddly yeah. enough. Well, it had. It, it was away for 15 years, exactly. really, that exactly. long. It was, yeah, yeah. so it was I such a surprise. I kept telling people it was 12. <laughs> <laughs> but then you always lie about age, darling, don't you? <laughs>